Finally, a moment of relief for Murtaza, trying to leave the country. He's among 2,000 Afghans lucky to have got their new passports today. A lot of people I found here tell me they've lost their jobs. One of them is Murtaza Nadri from Kabul province who has agreed to talk to us. Murtaza, how long has it taken you to get a new passport? It's about 45 days. And where are you going to go with it? I want to go to Turkey and after that to Germany. Why? Because of bad situation, uh, but uh, I don't have an, a job and everything uh, is not good in this country. I want to live here because of uh, a new life, a new future for, my, for me and for my family. Over 80,000 Afghans have left the country since the start of this year. Most of them are seeking to escape the everyday stresses and violence of life here. There are thousands of Afghans applying for a passport every day. Some of these people have waited all night. Some have waited for a week. And they come from every walk of life and all over the country. Incidents like these are encouraging the mass exodus. Almost 40 people lost their lives in this Taliban bomb attack. And the movement has been stepping up its campaign of violence recently. I met a young couple in their relatively affluent tower block in the city center. They find it impossible to stay. For a fresh start outside Afghanistan, they have paid several thousand dollars. It'll buy them their passage to Europe. Zakia is packing for the journey. She and her husband have only been married a year. But he says living here has become too risky. The main reason is the security situation and our personal safety. There's no security in Afghanistan. We've struggled so hard to build our lives. We've only been married a year. But as you can see, we have no alternative but to leave. Well, we've seen on TV how risky this massive journey is. Of course I'll miss my home, but it's just too unsafe to stay here. As long as there's insecurity here, Afghans will continue to risk the weeks of queuing for a passport and the dangerous journey to Europe. For these people, it's less dangerous than being caught up in a bomb blast at home. Harun Najafizadeh, BBC News, Kabul.